Yo, what's up, guys? I'm back on a video here. This time we have this team here, Erling Haaland card. Now, this is one I've been excited to see for a while as a massive City fan, and this card for me is just going to be exceptionally good as a big man. So, he's six foot five, got the high medium work rate, he's got the four star skills, five star weak foot, and his fur for obviously being that left foot. Now, on our turps, you can only play the strike and the centre foot, which is a little bit annoying in my opinion, but it's based on real life, so he only does play there, really. Now, on stats, he's got the 95 pace. Got the 98 shooting, the 80 passing, 91 dribbling, and also the 97 physical. Now, on play styles, he has a few decent ones to be fair. He has quick step, he has acrobat, he has power header, power shot, and also the main one itself, aerial. Now, if you do enjoy the review or want to see more, please do subscribe. Like I say, it does mean a lot to my channel, and I'll see you after positive negatives. Peace. So what's my other thoughts about the card now? If you don't know how segment works, I pretty much say what's bad, what's good, what you should and what you shouldn't do just so you utilize this card as best as possible. Now first for me is that 4 star skill is 5 star weight for now. Really that 4 star skill doesn't particularly matter purely because 
you're not really going to be using a big man like this to use skills because obviously you're going to tackle very, very easily if you're doing that. Now, the 5-star weak foot is very, very good. He's very dependable on both feet. And honestly, near post cross goal. Travellers are really, really good, especially on that left foot. I don't know if I said especially because it's only on the left foot. But Travellers are really, really good on this card. And maybe it's because of that shot power and that long shots. But overall, he is just so, so clinical in front of goal. Now, the pace me really good. With that quick step as well, he accelerates a little bit faster than what he would normally. And obviously, that sprint speed is just allows him to keep that pace going really nice and allows the centre-backs to have no chance of catching up with him. Now, as I've already talked about, Trebell is a really good shot power, is really good. Finishing is really good. He's just a very, very clinical card in front of goal. And it's a bit like the 94, just with that weak foot upgrade. They're very clinical cards, both of them. Now, the passing to me... Overall, the ones that matter are the vision, the short pass, and the long pass. And he does have vision and short pass, to be fair. So he can do this simple stuff, which is very, very effective. Now, the junior for me, although he is 6 foot 5, he doesn't particularly feel that on Agile. Now, obviously, he's not going to feel as Agile as like a bomb mat, he'll tell us. But with that being said, it could definitely be a lot worse than it is. He, he feels a little bit more Agile than Courtois, if I'm honest, that 6 foot 6 uh, striker version. But, with that being said, obviously don't particularly try and stick to that because that's not to his strengths. Now, obviously reaction is really good at 99, same with the composure. The physical attributes to me, honestly the best in the game. 99 jumping with aerial, 99 head and accuracy, 90 stamina, 99 strength and 99 aggression. He is such a bully to these centre-backs and honestly they can't even get near him a lot of the time. Which is really, really nice card to have. So on to my other scores now, if you don't know how this segment works, I pretty much rank each injury status. So you've got pace using passing on a score out of 10, and I also give him an overall score and a value of coins. So the first meet is at pace, not overall pace, I'm going to give it a 9.5. Now, although he is 6 of 5 and the acceleration isn't obviously the best overall standard, but that sprint speed will far make up for it. He will outpace most cards in the game with that sprint speed. He is seriously, seriously fast once he gets going. Now, shooting for me, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. One of the most clinical cards I've ever used. On that left foot, on that right foot, Travellers, he has it all really for the shooting, and there's nothing really you can fault about it. Now, the passing for me overall, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Although he does have the simple stuff in abundance, I don't really think it's any high in that, purely because there's a few letdown aspects like the long pass and stuff like that. Now, the dueling for me overall, I'm going to give it 8.5 out of 10. Purely because he is six foot five, the actual stats in itself aren't bad. It's just because he is quite a tall man that he's not going to be the most agile of cards. Now, the physical action with me, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. What more can you want? The stamina is perfectly good enough for his work rate. Head and acting, jumping, perfect. Strength and aggression, perfect. And he also has balance. Those two together, strength and balance, go together so, so nicely and allows him just never get pushed off the ball. Now, on overall score for me then, I'm going to give him a, I'm going to give him a 9.7 out of 10. Obviously, I can't give him a high, like he's not Mbappe or R9 level good, but I do think he's on the same level as Hansen if you do use his card right. Because he is so effectively uh, good when you get him through on goal or in the air. He's just very, very physical and dominant card. So, of value of coins, I'm going to give him a, I am even 9 out of 10, purely because he is still very expensive. I just think he is such a good card overall. But that's all for my view. As always, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do subscribe. Like I said at the start, it really does mean a lot to my channel. Now, if you want to see on a particular, let me know down in the comments below and I'll try and get down to doing them. But I've got some more, so see you in the next view and peace out, guys.